Hey guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot and I am back to do another How Do They Feel video series and this is for the sign of Libra. Hey Libra. Alright, so this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. And this is going to be um, how your partner feels about you. This could be your love partner, your love interest, or the person you're thinking about. This is a general reading, so the message may not resonate this this time, and um, the energies are interchangeable, okay? So keep that in mind. I like to start off with an oracle message. Um, I'm trying to keep this video short, but I've just been like, they've been like 30 minutes. I don't, my camera cuts off exactly at 29 minutes and 59 seconds. So... Sometimes if I'm if I, I start to say my little outro like you know thank you and all that stuff it gets cut out so I'll edit the end of the video so it kind of looks like it's being cut out and it's a, a 1 11 a.m. by the way 1 1 1 which is very significant for me but um so it sounds like it's being cut off I'm I edited the video so and I just kind of you know took out the part that wasn't really necessary so. I'm working on that. I'm working on time management, getting the videos. Um, I'm trying to do like 15 minute videos, Just keep them not too long, but we'll see how that works. I am accepting new clients on Instant Go. I'm answering questions for $10 at Instant Go. Um, I'm doing personal readings, so I am taking clients at the moment. And um, I am taking new clients for intuitive counseling and like. And spiritual coaching okay so if you would like to contact me and get more information about that please check my description box um, for all my contact details and if you want to connect with me on social media my contact information is there through my Instagram and Twitter links are in the description box so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and, sh and shuffle on camera and get you a really good Oracle message I am so excited to see um, what spirit has to say because in your in your last video for second half it was very positive um, so we'll see where you guys are at or where your love interest is at rather how this um, relationship is moving along um, some of you guys may be in separation okay wow anxiety you guys wow okay Virgo had this card and at the bottom I'm going to keep this short we have first chakra something about your stability Mm. Mm. Okay. Woman are, woman holding a heart is at the bottom. I'm looking I was looking at the imagery just to see if I can pick up something off of that card. And yes, I did pick up that or what I picked up was oh gosh, you guys are longing. You guys are longing, um, longing for some type of um, reconciliation or just love in general here. Woman holding a heart usually talks about um, a new love interest. And by the way, the numbers on these cards can be significant. This could be a part of your address, your birthday, zip code, um, social security, license plate, phone number, etc. Um, but or they can just like be special dates or something. But she usually represents a female dealing with family, love, or emotions. She could be a new love interest or a friend coming your way. But I kind of feel like it's about being receptive at the moment. Okay, taking a passive approach. Um, not saying that you don't take, you're not supposed to take action, but I think. It's almost like things are falling into place and you're realizing um, you're basically reflecting on your own state of peaceful emotions, okay? Um, it's basically letting you know family issues or anything you're going through is going to be resolved, okay? You're an intuitive person who understands the emotions of life and you're bringing the aware awareness in all that you do. Because in the past position, we have lots of anxiety. All right. And I just looked at the um, 
card at the top. You're going to have a victory here. Okay. In the past, there was a lot of anxiety. And this was due to stability, emotional stability. This could be, and this is the, I forgot to say this, but the Oracle message is for both parties. So I will incorporate this person's energy, but I feel like there was an issue around, uh, around stability, emotional and financial stability here. But I'm the first chakra is about stability, feeling stable, feeling safe within a situation. This relationship doesn't make you feel safe. It, it puts you in a state of anxiety because you don't know where you stand with this person. You don't know if there will be a victory in this particular um, relationship because you had to deal with um, a manipulative, deceitful person. There was deceit. And I feel like the deceit was primarily self-deceit. Wanting a success so badly um, here in this relationship. But there was an issue with opening up or um, seeing things from a different perspective. I feel like this person had a problem opening up to you. This person did see you as a success, as a victory. But this person may have been lying to themselves about how they truly felt about you. This caused them to feel a lot of stress. They didn't feel safe within this union um, because they may be dealing with trust issues. The, 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 the first chakra is, you know... The, the carnal desires of this person may have been succumbing to their um, carnal side, which is devil energy, um, especially paired with the deceit card. This person was, you know, possibly cheated. This person may have flirted or was tempted um, or had other situations. They weren't grounded because the, 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 ba the base chakra or the root keeps you grounded, okay? And um, I feel like there's going to be a, a victory here because there's going to be an ending of a cycle. And with that woman holding a heart, that ending of the cycle is going to bring you a renewed sense of self-love. Or if you're a man, a new love will be coming into your life. Okay. And if you're a woman, um, for you, this is you, like I said, um, or you're going to be going within and you're going to be these these issues that you're having the emotional instability will be cleared up and that victory that's being presented um is success and achievement but this is about deep inner change okay this is about you putting in the work doing the inner work after some type of difficult situation, after dealing with deceit or lying to yourself about a situation, staying in, in a situation that was no longer serving you because it felt safe, knowing that you weren't happy. But I see that you're doing, you went in, you went within and you focused, oh, you can't see that. You went within and you focused on self-love. Start loving yourself. And then that in turn healed you or helped to, to move you in a different space. You shift your focus. And now. You are reaping the benefits. This is an accomplishment for you guys. It's not saying that you don't have more work to do. You know because we have the world card here. The world card um, in the oracle deck. This is the energy oracle deck. Is about expansion and opening up expand your vision okay and contemplate on some much broader options the world is wide there is a lot out there to consider okay so don't limit yourself self-limited beliefs don't let those trap you and keep you stuck stuck and i feel like this person had trust issues this person had some traumas and they had to block um or overactive root chakra um, and there was a lot of deception and it was mostly self-deception about how they felt. They didn't feel safe and secure. They maybe didn't they, this person may have trust issues, but they're doing some inner work and there will be an ending of that cycle. That is the Oracle message. All right. And I like this card here, garden and garden 
the garden and the gate because this talks about oh and the thinking woman this talks about um now being able to move out of that that space of you know that 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 self-limited belief or that space of feeling stuck or not being able to move on or move forward and they're now saying you know what i'm not afraid to go outside of that gate and see what's out there in the world. Being stuck in a relationship that no longer serves you because you're afraid of not being able to, to to provide or be stable alone. This is codependency um, or being stuck at a job that you're not happy with, and but you stay because of, because of the security. But you're you're sacrificing the, the fulfillment. All right. So that's enough talking. <laughs> so let's see what's your part. How your partner feels. All right, so I do see that um, you're dealing with somebody that was in a third party situation or this person is uh, basically a hoe out here hoeing in the streets. Somebody very promiscuous. Um, you may have dealt with somebody that was coming in and out of your life. Um, a fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo. Um, this person treated you unfairly. There was a lack of balance in this relationship and the relationship had to end. And that was a justice for you. You didn't perceive it as justice. Actually, you actually took it hard. But the interim or um, you had enough foresight to understand that it was time for the relationship to end. And you're gaining your strength back, but you're still in the process of still healing from that um, situation. The star card is reversed because you're lacking the faith, um, a little faith, or this could just be again that the residual fears that are still left, um, being afraid of getting hurt again and not being able to open up or move forward or get out of your, your box to to um, be receptive because it's about being receptive to love, being open, up, being open to it, okay, so that you can attract it to come into your life. And this is also for the pro the person that you're thinking about being so guarded because they've been hurt, and that and they're bringing in that energy into all the relationships, and then all the relationships don't work out. So I do see that there was a uh, <clears throat> heart of the matter imbalance of power. Someone wanted to it was more dominant. It was a lack of equal give and take against self sacrifice. But I like to look at the hangman as what is the challenge? Needing to let go of something that no longer serves you. Needing to see, feeling extremely lonely, self-pity, self-doubt here, not being able to make a decision, needing to make a judgment. In the past, you found fulfillment in this relationship and even thought that this person was your dream come true. They thought you were your, you were their dream come true. But in the now, they don't, they can't make up their mind. It's the fundamental of the, the matter. They're lonely. You know, they're, they, they're, I think they don't want to make a decision to end the relationship. They don't know how to. With the Empress crowning the energies, they, they, they may have, they may be trying to manifest a new beginning with you. Or they can still see success within this relationship. There will be healing in the, the immediate future. Um, yeah, so they definitely want to come back and try again, okay? They're definitely reflecting and seeing what kind of, you know, and they're realizing that they made some mistakes. They want a new beginning with you here. And they know that you made them feel loved and you were a victory to them, but it took you for, ground, for granted. Um, the outside influence is, you know, you got your guard up. They know that you're very defensive and they know that you're not going to be easy to approach. You you know, they know they're going to have to come correct if they're going to want to try this again with you here. And what their fear is, their hopes and desires is to be able to heal this union. And they do feel remorse and regret, but they want to heal this union. So we have a nine and a ten on the table. <clears throat> and what is the outcome? Wow, the justice card came out again. So justice reverse. 
Dang, son. <laughs> First and foremost, this is you reap what you sow. This person is facing karma. They know they, they, they did you wrong. They were selfish. They were all about them. They were self-serving. And they don't want to let go of this connection. But what's out, but the outside influences you're fighting it. And they want to heal. But with the justice card here, I kind of feel like there's still some karma. To, you know, this cycle's not over. There's still some karma to be balanced. There's um, but this person's definitely reaping what they sow here. Um, reverse, I would look at this as a negative outcome. Um, unfavorable rather. And only because I still see some injustices or some imbalances. Could talk about an court verdicts, but it doesn't seem like it doesn't look like it would be in your favor. And let me clarify a little bit. Clarify the justice card, please. I mean, with the justice card, I actually. Um, in the reverse, it could be an ending of the injustice. So we could look at it like that. It's an ending of the injustice. No more unfairness. You could always look at the the cards, the major arcana's reverse as the extreme, or the opposite, or polar opposite um, of the meaning. But I I honestly feel like. This is unfinished business, you know, like this is unfinished business. They're not done and they don't want to be done with this situation. They actually want to revisit it because they do feel like they can fix it. Uh, you know, there could be something about court. Maybe you're taking them to court. This is maybe there's a divorce. Um, they feel like you're being unfair. They feel like you're making a hasty decision and they don't want to end this, but somebody is ready to let go. That's what's crossing the energy. It's a challenge. They don't want to let go. They want to fight for you. They see you as their empress, even though they had other people on the side. They were being selfish and stuff. They were heavy on the drinks for some of you guys. And then we're drunk. Some of you guys, this partner may have, you know, like to drink. But... Oh, my earring just fell on my ear. But they felt they feel that you're making a very hasty decision. And I feel like someone is trying to avoid something, but there's something needs to be addressed here. Clarify the justice card. <clears throat> you know so going with them doing the inner work um, but this is also somebody <laughs> somebody is making peace with being single but I feel like this is you know finally gaining wisdom from the situation understanding why things happened the way they did and understanding that things happened the way they sh the way they were supposed to happen. I didn't like the way that was gonna sound, so that's why I stopped. I'm a little tired. Clarify the hermit, please. Just clarify a little further. Clarify the hermit, please. Right, see, some, like I said, someone is resisting this change, this transition. However, that the lies, the, the deceit, it's like you can't, there's no, you know, this person, oh, this person, um, understands why you're making the decision you're making. They understand that they put you in this energy of sorrow, depression. They get that, but they want to keep this marriage
and they're willing to be honest about this third party situation. These cards came back to back to back. So they're going to come in and tell you some type of truth here because, and they want to rebuild the foundation of this relationship with this four of wands. Um, and they're willing to heal. They're willing to take the time out to really heal this relationship, but they are dealing with some confidence issues. Okay. So they may be reluctant to come towards you here, but they definitely want you in their future. <laughs> they want to move forward. Um, but I kind of feel like still with the two of wands, this is, it's like, this is the, the idea of what you want to do, but I don't, it's not really the action. I mean, I could say I saw the three of wands being presented. Did I? No, I didn't. That was a four. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. For you guys, for this love interest. What is the challenge going to be for this love interest, please? So this love interest is trying to hold on. The challenge is the world <laughs> not letting a cycle in. Okay. So I'm telling you guys. And the empress came up right after it. And wow, the emperor, the empress, the emperor, and the lovers, and the star. This person... This person is not going anywhere or they don't want to. They don't want to end this. Somebody wants to get a divorce and this person is like fighting it. Like, I don't want to get a divorce. They have hope. They're wishing. The lovers, they want to bring this union back together. Okay. So this person definitely wants to reconcile with you. Whoever that message was meant for. Okay. So that is your reading, Libra. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel.